how to accumulate your wealth from property. Hi, I'm Lizzie and I'm Karen. Today we are going to look at how you can accumulate your wealth with property. Let's take a look at this project watermark at Robertson Key. Owner A first bought this as a sub sale in 2007 and he didn't even buy it at the lowest price. He bought a two bedroom 893 square feet for 1.385 million and the price PSF was $1,550. In 2008, the prices dropped due to the financial crisis. In fact, all property prices dropped in Singapore. Prices at Watermark has dropped to as low as $900 to $1,000 per square foot. But Owner A chose not to sell it. Of course, Owner A continued to rent out the property. But did the owner lose money? The money instalment was $3,585 based on the 30-year-old loan tenure and a 1.5% interest rate. The rental was $4,500. Let's break down the expenses. Interest based on the mortgage loan was $1,300 on average. Maintenance fees were $300. Property tax was $200. Total expenses were $1,800. The tenant paid the expenses and still contributed $2,700 to the principal amount. Over 5 years, $2,700 times 60 months, which is $162,000. The owner would have a rental profit of $162K. And over 15 years, owner A would have a rental profit of $486,000. So let's look at Watermark at Robertson Key as of today. The recent transaction has hit $2,100 per square feet and Owner A will have a gross profit of $490,000 from selling the property. All in all, he will have gained a profit of $486,000 from renter and $490,000 from capital appreciation. From this case study, we can learn that number 1. Holding power and financial planning are important when it comes to purchasing a property. Number two, property is actually a form of savings and with the rental income, it helps to pay for your principal. If you are looking to find out how to build your wealth systematically through other people's money, do reach out to us. This is Lizzie and this is Karen. Hope to see you soon. Bye!